Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I am going to fix some of the problems that I had in my previous IK system. Actually I am going to completely change the alpha value calculations for the IKs for left foot and right foot and also the method that I used to do the hip, hip uh, correction change and now as you can see here the we had a problem with back foot in the previous episode it was a little bit submerged in the ground and I, I have fixed it in this episode and also I have fixed those stuttering problems we had with the previous system so now there are no more stutterings that happens sometimes okay so yeah now it works almost perfectly on all the surfaces so yeah let's get started and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to fix is that in my IK settings, I calculate the hip correction like this using this function. Actually, I came up with a better way to calculate this so instead of using these values I can take a different approach so here this must be the supposed or the ground level if the ca character is in a flat floor in a flat ground so if I can so I can detect if I am not in a flat ground like this so here I get the trace result of the right left foot and here I get the right foot so whenever I am on the ground the lowest point it can be either left foot or right foot so the lowest point should be similar to the corrected location of the character that means when I have corrected the hip location the difference between the lowest trace point from left foot or right foot should be similar to the hip location corrected hip location minus 88 so I can determine it like this reduce this one no I can break this one like this and also I need to break this one as well and from this two I can get the minimum float value so the return of this node is the lowest point from this two foots so here when I subtract from this amount this one I get the difference so the hip displacement I should have done so I'm gonna connect it like this and here I'm not sure whether it's, I should multiply this with the minus one so let's check first and see if 
first I'll disable grass for the clarity okay and right yeah wait yeah as you can see here I am above the ground so that means I should have multiplied this one with a minus one or I could change the interchange these connections right yeah now it's correct okay and now yeah now the now the hit calculation is uh, different than what we had before and it is it seems more correct than before and in down and now I'm going to fix this problem with submerging the back foot in the ground so how can I fix that so here I'm going to do another change so now I'm getting the Z difference and put it as the IK alpha right and left and I'm gonna get rid of that part let's just delete this and this and I don't need the Z difference anymore so I'll remove it and then I'm going to calculate the Z difference using this hip displacement only and also for this I first need to determine which leg is uh, should be above the other leg so I can calculate it like this minus minus so if this is larger than zero so that means this one or the left foot is above the right foot the left foot should be above the right foot so here I'm gonna do a branch and like this and if so after that I'm going to set IK alpha left and set IK alpha right so now let's do this in a simpler way we don't need a branch let's just connect it like this and let's do a select and put the output here and similarly do another select and put the output here so when the left leg is above the ground it should reflect that change and compensate for that change by changing the alpha value of the left foot so this alpha value I'm going to calculate it like this so just like we did for the is a difference let's divide this by well this value I need to do some testing and figure out so for now I'll put 30 and plug it here so now here I should plug the same thing to the false or oh, this should be the other way around but let's see let's test it and see and let's print the values of the each alpha value so that we can understand what's going on all 
Right, now let's play. Oh, wait. So I am getting a minus value. So, yeah. That means if I put a minus value for the alpha, then it would be same as I am inserting. Uh, I am inserting zero. So here I should get the absolute value. Okay, now let's check. Right, yeah, yeah, now it's correct. And also, we have somewhat got rid of that submerging left back foot on the ground problem. Well, let's And here I think it is a little above the ground, isn't it? Yes. So uh, this one is a little below the ground. And okay. So how can we fix it? Well, we can adjust this value. Let's say, let's put 35. This side seems good enough. How about this side? Yeah, that's all so good enough for me. And yeah, the next thing that we should deal with the, the, is these stuttering problems and yeah problems like this okay so yeah for the stuttering problem I'm going to do something like this instead of directly changing the value here I'm going to use a lerp like this lerp and this one should be should go here and this one should go here and this one should go here and I'll put point let's try with point one and similarly I'll do another lerp in for this one like this And now let's see, we should have some smooth wear change in the foot location now. Yeah, that's better. And where did we have that stuttering problem? Mm, yeah, it seems uh, the stuttering is gone now. Let's work somewhere here so that we can see if anything is going wrong. That happens mostly when I'm going downward a mountain. Let's walk. And uh, let's check this without the in the normal work animations as well. Okay, 
I think this is pretty good now. Yeah, this is good enough for me. And let's check this way as well. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do for today. And I honestly think now we have a pretty solid IK system for the blue foot placement. It is pretty robust and pretty solid. And I am quite happy with this. And in the next episode, I am going to address this problem. So when my character is in an edge like in on an edge like this, this happens. See, the character is vanished, and when I am coming back, the character is not there. That's because of the hip correction, and I will fix that problem in the next episode. And I'll upload the latest source code into my Patreon account. Feel free to check that. And also, if you want to support my work, you can join my Patreon club and depending on the membership you will have different privileges as i have explained in this section and okay see you in the next episode goodbye